Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand, we'll try to convert one to many relationships to the database schema. So far, one of the one to many relationship works for has been converted in our previous video. This is the relationship. Uh, relationship is D number to D number. So this is the relationship. And manages, uh, manager SSN to SSN has already been converted in our previous videos. In this video, we are going to understand uh, we are going to convert this one to many relationship this is the second one to many relationship and this is the third one to many relationships that are there in the er diagram so we will try to convert all these relationships into uh, a database schema so we'll start with this one department project and the relationship is controls so as we have already discussed many times whenever there is a relationship that relationship will get converted into an attribute so the attribute which converted uh, in the ER diagram which made this relationship is a department. So if you remember the concepts which we have already discussed. So it is department. So what, what we have to do in the database schema that relationship will again converted into the attribute called department. And we are using the department number uniquely to identify each and every department. So a new table will get created and the table name is uh, projects. okay <clears throat> so a new table will get created and the table name is a project so for this entity type we didn't we 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 didn't have this uh, what you call it as a uh, we are not having this uh, uh, table projects table and uh, this projects table the attributes of this project table these attributes will be there and uh, it is p name project name we will take it as and p number p number and this we will consider as a uh, unique key name and project both of them are their primary key uh, this uh, p number will convert it as we will consider it as uh, what you call it as a primary key okay and the next one is locations p location p location and in the requirements it is given that a project will be having only one location so it is not a multi-valued attribute same as that of these locations it is p locations and the next uh, thing is uh, here this is uh, this uh, what you call it? this relationship controls is obtained due, due to the uh, attribute called department so here we will take this as an attribute it is d number just we will take it as d num for d number so you know we have taken different different names d number here here we have taken d number and here d no uh, to differentiate from one column to another column okay for better understanding we have taken different names for the same uh, attribute called d number so this d number where it is referencing so this is an attribute of department number right and here it is used so there exists a relationship and it is referencing referencing d number of the department table it is referencing d number of the department table okay one relation this relationship has been established completed okay the next one is dependents Uh, dependents is the next table and the attributes of this table are attributes of the table name name and the next one is uh, sex okay we will leave this for better uh, uh, okay it is sex and uh, b date birth date the next one is uh, relationship and we have considered that this is the weak entity a one to n relationship one to many relationship and this is a weak entity and this is a uh, 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 this is a weak entity and uh, the primary key which which entity types are called as weak entities if, if it is not having primary key to uh, identify 
uh, each and every row independently so this is considered as weak entity now how this is this has been obtained how this relationship depends or dependence of has been obtained it is based upon the attribute called employee because these dependents are depending on the uh, there is a relationship between uh, employee and dependent and based upon that employee attribute this relationship has been created now we have to uh, bring back that uh, employee employee into the dependence table back so this is a uh, what we take it as it is employee ESSN employee SSN here we will take employee because each and every employee is, is identified uniquely by using SSN so we are going to consider the SSN of the employee now what is the uh, primary key for this there should be some primary key so what we will do is we will take the combination of these two so that is going to bring the uniqueness see here in order to bring the uniqueness we will combine these two so no two no two family members will have the same names considering that it is going to bring the uniqueness okay because each family members name is associated with with their own SSN so there will not be any conflict with other family uh, members other family members of the other employees okay so this combination of these two is going to be considered as primary key think of this point so for better understanding what we will do is uh, name of uh, an employee uh, dependent a name of an employee b uh, dependent sorry b and again the name of the uh, dependent is a and again the name of the dependent is b there is a possibility for this to occur and uh, what is that what is that which is going to identify uniquely is if you consider that a and b belonging to the ssn one and one so b, these two dependents are uh, are the dependents of uh, uh, employee one and similarly if you take a and b a and b with two so if you combine these two if you consider both these columns as the combination of both these columns as the primary key then then the uniqueness can be obtained think of this point this point is very important to understand okay so now the combination of these two is going to be the primary key so one and a one and b even though the dependents are having the same names when combined with the employee numbers of the employee to whom they are dependents of by combining those two the uniqueness can be obtained okay so the primary key for this is the combination of name and ESSN employee SSN okay with this the fourth table has already been done and now what is the relationship where it is related to the relationship is here this is where this is referencing this is referencing where this is referencing the ssn okay this is referencing there and the next one is next one is supervisor so it is a recurrence relation in that case again so from there the where it has been obtained it is a supervisor ssn every employee is going to have a supervisor so based upon that attribute in the er diagram design we have obtained this relationship now coming back we have to add the uh, entity add the attribute add the column to this uh, table again so what we will do what is the column that we are going to add see here here we are having d number a new column called super ssn super ssn is added to this table uh, with respect to this relationship and where this is relating to this is relating to ssn okay we'll we'll mark it in blue to get the differentiation okay this is referencing as it is a self reference recursive relationship it is on the same table so there is no need to take another table no need to create an another table because this uh, new column has been added to this employee table and this is referencing the ssn of the same table that is another relationship 
okay so these are all the uh, these are all the relationship that are applied uh, that we have that we got obtained these are all the tables that we have obtained from these uh, relationships the only relationship that we are left with is uh, works on so about this this is a, a many to many relationship about this relationship we will try to understand in our next coming video and that video is very important to understand we will consider it very slowly we will, we will go very slowly about this concept hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you <coughs> Please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited. Thanks for watching.